Alright guys, welcome to a new Fallout New Vegas video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get all the gold bars out of the Sierra Madre Casino Vault in the Dead Money DLC. There's only one requirement for this, and that is that you have at least level 75 in one of these skills. You can either have it in Barter, Explosive, Lockpick, Repair, or Speech. Ideal to have it in Speech and Barter, because that's the easiest chat dialogues. So you want to head towards the vault itself and go on the terminal, just to unlock the door. Use the only options that are there to unlock it. I'm going to head inside, turn to the right and access the security terminal, disengage the security measures. And there is 37 gold bars in total, 36 on this table and 1 on the vault table. Inside the gun cabinet you can pick up about a thousand magnum rounds and some energy cells as well. But uh, just make sure you loot all the gold bars, you can take all the pre-war money as well if you want. You'll be over encumbered, that's why you can't do this without doing this little trick. Usually you'd only be able to escape with about 4 or 5 gold bars. Once you've looted all 37, I'd recommend creating a quick save to check in your inventory that you've got all of them. They're in the miscellaneous section, as you can see there, I've got 37. So I access the vault control terminal, and then choose Vera keys, then the Vera option to Vera, and then just spam through the text. Don't click Sinclair's personal accounts, and just close the terminal. Elijah should pop up on the screen in front of you. In the chat dialog, just choose still hiding behind screens I see, then I'm sick of talking to an image on a screen, then choose I'm not interested in the vault, I only want to leave, and then you can choose one of these speech or bar options, if you don't have those options you'll have to choose the others until you have a skill 75, which you do have. You can pick any of these three options, I'm just going to pick your right, and then do the second speech or bar option and he'll begin to come downstairs. Now the second he comes down and the second his dialogue closes you want to turn and bolt for the door. He says he's coming down just run straight for the exit. This here is where about so you'll want to activate your stealth boy if you have one. I do not have one and I'll tell you guys when to activate your turbo if you have. But you want to head out the vault and head to this electrical box and then crouch down behind it so you're hidden and go into a third person view it helps out a lot. You can press F5 to save if you really want to. And then you want to wait for him to come. And as he comes closer, you want to edge your way around the box until he reaches the opposite side of where I'm on, 180 degrees. You can see him in front of me here. The second he sees you, you'll lock the door, so if you get caught, you're fucked. You want to wait on this side of the electrical box, and you'll head towards the vault. Once his back is completely turned to you and he's heading to the terminal, you want to bolt for the door. So, now. This is where, if you have one, you'll activate your turbo. You'll move a bit quicker. I do not have one. Not even because I'm doing it bare bones. But uh, you'll just walk towards the door. If you get through in time, you should lock himself in. If you're too slow, he'll lock you out. But uh, with practice, you'll get out on time. And now uh, you can just slowly add your way outside the vault. This entire structure is mine to command. Security, weapons, all. You think you've outsmarted me? So just head right through the door, the and then you'll have completed the Dead Money DLC, you'll get a boatload of XP, and you can simply just walk out the Sierra Madre gate to get back to the mainland. When I cut the camera here, because it is like a 10 minute fucking cutscene, and uh, you guys don't want to see that, I'll just show you guys I get back into the Sierra Madre Hall of Gold Bars. So if you survive the 54 minute cutscene, you should appear back where you started the DLC. And you can quite literally just walk out very, very slowly now. If you want to sell off your gold bars with ease, or transport them somewhere, make sure you take the long haul perk, which means you can fast travel while over encumbered. If you don't have that perk, well, you can have a very fun time of transporting a few bars at a time over and over. But as I have the strong back perk, I can collect my gear, exit to the Mojave Wasteland, I then show you guys that I've uh, managed to get all the gold bars. So I've gone to miscellaneous, down into G, and completely miss it. <laughs> and there we go, 37 gold bars. So as I said, if you have the uh, long haul perk, just go back to your world map and uh, recommend going to the gun runners to sell your stuff. And then you can just travel your way there. So I hope you guys earned a lot of money doing it this way. I, uh, I know certainly I did. It uh, gets you around 400,000 caps extra. If you only smuggled 4 bars in, you'd only get 40k. <laughs> I get 400k. 
So, if I wasn't playing murders currently, I would show you guys selling them, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Mr. Money Barracks make me rich as fuck.